Hi, I'm Leon Gittler. I'm a copywriter, and I'm on the Online Prosperity Show, and we're also we're going to be talking about what I offer financial services companies for their copy and how to produce clear, compelling copy that hits their clients and generates more clients for them. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Experience, the podcast where we explore the latest trends, strategies, and insights to help businesses thrive in the digital age. I'm your host, Prosper, and in today's episode, we are joined by Leon Gettler, who is a corporate com communications copywriter and specialist in websites, ebooks, newsletters, and blogs. Now, Leon. Thank you for having us on. Uh, th thank my, you for coming to the show today. My pleasure, Prosper. My pleasure. Fantastic. Now, Leon has a background in business finance and economics journalism, and he has authored three books and has also earned a PhD with the university, uh, the RMIT University. And in this episode, we're going to be diving into Leon's experience, expertise in actually helping businesses to effectively communicate with their clients and explore his process for creating compelling and impactful content. Without further ado, let's just jump in. Now, Leon, tell us a little bit about your story and how you actually got started, um, you know, in the copywriting industry. Well, uh, for 25 years, I worked as a business finance and economics journalist, and I was sort of working in journalism. And then about, oh, about 2015, I, when the bottom fell out of the media and you couldn't get work anymore as a journalist, I decided I would start working in corporate comms copywriting. Because I noticed that there were so many websites around that were badly written. And so many press releases were badly written. And I thought, why? I mean, this is just so basic. And so I said, I, I offer my skills to businesses. And so I do everything. I can do websites. I can do blogs. I can do newsletters for them. I can edit their copy. I can do all that and I can do podcasts for them. Fantastic. And I, and I script it all. Wow. That's absolutely amazing. With the way uh, the internet is created, obviously um, we need to have communities that have content and those communities need to be having conversations. Yeah. And if you've got absolutely. the right content, you can actually be fueling absolutely. those absolutely. conversations. No, and, and there and there are certain and there are certain sectors that really need it. And uh, my my feeling is there's a lot of financial services companies really need it. And the reason for that is that they're so bogged down with compliance following the Royal Commission that they don't have time to communicate. They just don't communicate. I could do that for them. Fantastic. You make their jobs a whole lot easier. Now, Absolutely. your background in business, finance, and um, you know, also being an economics journalist, how has that informed the work you are now sort of um, accomplishing, you know, as a, as, a, as a copywriter, first of all, for yourself and for the one, for the people that well, you're actually give, helping? it's given me a real understanding of businesses, of how they operate, particularly financial services firms. Because I, when, when I was, uh, there was a period when I was a business finance and economics journalist where I specialised in accounts and financial plans. So I really understand those industries quite well. I understand most industries. I've covered just about every kind of industry there is. So I understand how they work. I understand what their issues are. And I understand what they're trying to get across. Absolutely. Because if they're not, like you say, if they're not actually communicating um, with their audiences, they're missing out on, um, you know, actually engaging those people so that they can become customers that actually pay, stay, and refer. Now, how do you actually approach working with clients to ensure that their messaging is clear and is actually effective for their target audience since you're working in a... Um, well, you know, well first, of all, first of all, we have a conversation. We talk about what they need and uh, we go over exactly what they need and I will do that for them and we will go over the words very carefully. And often it's a case of collaboration where I will write it up, send it to them, and they'll say, yeah, that's good. Oh, look, can you change that? Or, no, uh, look, 
when, when I said this, I meant that. Oh yeah, okay, I can do that. So we 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 work together. It's all about collaboration, and okay. so it's a team effort. It's not just me. I'm me. I'm just a strategic partner of the client to get their marketing message across. That's what I do. Absolutely. You also mentioned earlier on that you specialize in writing uh, for websites, eBooks, um, newsletters, and blogs. Now, how do you actually tailor your writing style for each of these uh, mediums? Well, blogs and newsletters are very much uh, use of the SEO principles. So I work with SEO on all of that. So, you know, you have lots of links and you have lots of um, uh, pictures and uh Keywords, everything like that. So you do all the basics of SEO with blogs and newsletters. Ebooks, you actually have to work with the client. The client puts up the idea and you actually put that together for them. Websites, same, same sort of thing. You you have certain sort of, certain words, you, you actually work out what the client is about, you work out what the key issues are, you work out what the messages are, and you work around that. And I might add that when you do web websites, you're actually working with website developers as well. It's not just me. I just provide the words. Uh, Again, it's a team. It's a t everything is a team effort. I, I like I like how you you have collaboration in everything that you're doing. Now, can you Absolutely. just can you just walk us through the process, maybe for writing or maybe editing a piece of copy for a client, maybe from start to finish, just so that our audience are quite um, versed with where you start and where you sort of end and how they can actually engage you. Right. Okay. Well, uh, let's, let's just, let's just go when I edit copy right. from a client yep. and I will sub edit that and I will actually do it so that they can see what I've edited. They can see my corrections. They can see my suggestions very clearly in word. I put that all in word. And so that they can follow that very clearly. And if there's something that, I, I mean, I've done this for Price Waterhouse Coopers. I do that for them. Uh, if there's something that uh, needs needs clarifying, I will actually write. Look, this point needs clarifying. Do you think you could add something more here? And I'll I'll write that in. And the client will accept that, and they'll do that. They'll work accordingly. Again, it's a it's a team effort. I'm just I'm just um, the strategic partner. Fantastic. Now, you would understand in the world of business and finance, there's always um, you know changes and trends that are you know happening in there. I can see behind you, you've got a library of books, but how else are you keeping up with the current trends and maybe best practices in corporate communications and uh, copywriting? Oh, well, I, I read. I read a lot. I follow everything very closely. I mean, I read all the papers. I read all the journals, uh, not just the Australian papers, but the overseas papers, the overseas journals, the overseas news magazines, everything like that. And I also follow trends I see with copyrights. And I'm, I'm very, very... Um, aware of that, and I'm um, um, I follow I follow other copywriters to see what they're doing. Fantastic. Well. So yeah. um, I'm I'm very very conscious of what you need to do to stay on top. Absolutely, that's the best way. The people that are always constantly learning are the people that are actually <laughs> changing the world. So. You are amongst those people that are doing that. Now, what sort of advice would you give to a business who may be struggling to maybe effectively communicate with their clients, especially if they're financial or like a business type um, business? Well, they have to actually sit down and work out what their message is. And they actually have to also have to work out what actually sets them apart from their competitors. I mean, they, if there's an account, what makes this accounting firm so different from the competitors? What do you offer as an accounting firm that your competitors don't? And that's that's quite critical. And that's a, that's a difficult conversation to have because it does require a lot of thought. It does require a lot of planning. And um, I'm happy to work through 
those issues with those people because a lot, a lot of it comes down to conversations and uh, working working out working it out with them absolutely and um i also um you know alluded earlier on that you've authored three books uh mm -hmm. of your own all right and that's the personal work that you've written for yourself can you just tell us about your experience while writing these books and how it actually differs when you're writing work for clients? Well, when you're writing work for clients, you're actually writing it for the client. So, so you, you're, you're pitching it purely at the client. A book is different. A book is you're pitching it at a broader audience and you have to actually work out what the book is about and everything like that and what the message of the book is. But that's different from writing for a client. A client is the pivotal point, always. And it's a uh, client, uh, and more, more to the point, more to the point, if it's a blog, if it's a newsletter, if it's an ebook, or if it's a website, what I'm doing is I'm using the client's voice. It's not my voice, it's a client's voice. And that's critical. So it has to be the client's voice at all times. It's there. Uh, it's their blog, it's their newsletter, it's their ebook, it's their website. Not mine. I'm just providing the words. That's all. Absolutely. Now, obviously, you've been doing a lot of, um, you know, magnificent work out there. Could you just share with us a success story or maybe some sort of a case study of a project where you were actually able to help a client improve their communication with their clients? Yes, yeah, so I had one client who was a recruiter and he wanted to recruit AI specialists and robotics specialists for the shipping industry. Now, who would know that? I understood that because that was part of my PhD. I understand robotics. I understand AI. So I said to him, so we worked out what AI specialists can do for the shipping industry, what specifically they can do. What robotic specialists can do, they can actually, I mean, potentially you could have ferries in Sydney run by robots. Potentially. Wow. You could have AI specialists working out the best navigation times uh, and easing all the issues that shipping companies come across. All done by AI. And that was a great success. Uh, it's, it's been a great success because he's, he now says he has so many clients now because of my work. My work. And that's a really good outcome. Um, you know, especially when what you write actually starts leading towards yeah, that's um, right. you know, some sort of business. Now, with all this, you did mention the Royal Commission and the red tap that sort of happens in the finance industry how do you sort of balance creativity with the need to be clear and concise um you know with your messaging especially when it comes to to writing well well you, well, you really have to actually drill down to the exact words you need and the exact terminology and you really have to drill down to it and you have to be really precise and you can't you can't muck around with that and so you have to and because and for, Purely because of compliance. You really have to be absolutely accurate. With it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, if um, people are watching this and they are intrigued about your strategies, your style and, um, you know, your methodologies, what would be the best way for people to get a hold of you there, Leon? Well, they can go to my website, uh, which is uh, leongetler.com, which has all my details. They can phone me. Uh, on my phone number. Do you want me to give that out? Give uh, that out? I'll I'll put the details. Um, okay, they can the... phone me. Yeah. They can phone me, or they can email me. Fantastic. And I'll be happy to hear from them. Absolutely. I'd really, and I'd love to hear from people. Fantastic. Particularly financial services. Great stuff. Is there is there a specific type of client that you would want to be open to hearing from, especially? I. I'm interested in anyone who's interested in innovating. Yep. Doing things differently. 
anyone who has their own their own distinctive message that uh, is is quite unique. They're the ones I really want to hear from. Fantastic. Now, obviously, you've been dealing with different businesses, different um, people, in in different topics, especially when it comes to business and finance. What are some of the common mistakes that um, you know these businesses are making in their communications, uh, especially with their clients, and how can they actually avoid them? Well, they're not they're not actually thinking through what they want to say, and a lot of the time they don't actually discuss they don't have actually have proper discussions about what they want to say and a lot of time it's it's just put down sort of further down the line like the copywriters in the companies just write down the food chain and uh the copywriter is working collaboratively with the company and that's what you need Absolutely. I really appreciate your time today, Leon, and, um, you know, how informative you were, especially, um, you know, when it comes to the art of using words to actually communicate your message. And for those that are watching, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the Online Prosperity Experience with our guest, Leon Getler. And we hope you found this um episode insightful especially if you're looking to use words to communicate with your clients i'll be putting um leon's um contact details in the landing page that comes with this website and i hope you can also find his books articles and other resources useful if you also enjoyed this episode please consider leaving us a review on your favorite podcast platform and subscribing so that you can stay in touch with us and also get some of our latest episodes now thank you once again for listening and we'll see you next time thank you fantastic